Ed, calm Their down. appetite Eddie, you're not is focusing. overwhelming. That's their disease. They'll eat themselves to death. Twelve-year-old twins, Stevie and Eddie, have a rare condition that affects one in 25,000. Prada Willies is a rare genetic disease. Their appetite is overwhelming. They are just never full. They will inhale their food while well, they'll choke on it. So I lock up my food pantry and I lock up the refrigerator. I have to lock up all the food. I have to lock up the cat food. I have to lock up the chemicals. Just press start. Good job. That might be because they'll get up in the middle of the night and um, eat until they fall asleep. They'll eat so they'll eat until they die. And they're usually sleepwalking when they're doing it, but they'll also eat out of the garbage. We always have to take the garbage out and put it outside. Stevie's doing the recycling. You gotta help. Perfect, bud. Perfect. Now take that full one out. I don't think they're aware of it. They're just so hungry that they'll just eat. Out of wherever they see food, they'll eat it off the floor. They'll eat it off anybody's floor. It broke up the family. The condition. I'll be divorced two years in October, so they were 10. At 90 kilograms and 87 kilograms, the twins are currently classed as morbidly obese and have a host of medical problems, including fatty liver disease. It's very hard for them because I'm very strict with their food intake, and I only give them 1,200 calories a day. As well as an insatiable appetite, prader willi syndrome can also result in behavioral problems, including it, tantrums and stubbornness. Ed, where's that go, buddy? Doesn't go there, it goes in the dishwasher, right? Eddie, where'd you go? Diana's close friend Blair has been a big support. It is a 24-hour job. It's like an infant, but they're larger and they've got opinions and they're stubborn. Who are you hugging? Refrigerator or me? You. Well then, uppy uppy. You got two arms? <laughs> That's no? how he hugs. Right. That's his hug. Stevie will be very violent. He will just pout. He'll knock things over and he'll go Slam a door. Come on, babe. Stevie. Stevie. When he gets really upset, they get nosebleeds. Both boys are also on the autism spectrum, which further contributes to their behavior. And for Diana, their outbursts in public can be more than just embarrassing. I do have the fear of calling 911. Stevie likes to push the little carriage, and he likes to lean on it, and they didn't have any. And he just, his mood was going, escalating, no, Eddie. Eddie. No. within seconds. And he just took the carriage and was hitting the displays, knocking them down, he was swearing. Take a deep breath, just got worse and worse, and finally a stranger came to help us because we were getting all sorts of dirty looks. I get it now. What? Stop. I'm afraid they're gonna have an outburst and I can't handle them. I'll have to call 911 and they'll take them. They don't realize what I go through on a daily basis. There's not a day that goes by that something major doesn't happen. I really don't know how I cope. I'm 55 years old and it's taxing. You don't even have, you don't have a choice so you can't have a nervous breakdown. You can't fall apart. You, there's no time for it. There's no room for it. There's nobody else. But despite their problems, Diana and the twins still have fun. So we're off to the farm today. And we're gonna feed the animals. It's the twins' favorite thing to do. You guys excited to go? Yeah. What, what are you looking forward to doing? Feed the animals. Yay! It's noisy. <laughs> That's it, guys. I like to keep them busy so they try not to think about the food. They're such good kids. They're very lovable. They call me the queen. I'm the queen mom. Woohoo! Don't hold the light. <laughs> I love you a lot, Mom. I love you a lot. <laughs>